Well, inflation is impacting families everywhere, and it's estimated that about a half a million people here in Connecticut are struggling with hunger right now. Channel 3's Stephanie Simone caught up with a family who's trying some new ways to cope with the rising prices of basic necessities. Food is a basic need. It's been, it's been tough, very, very tough. But for Lori Martin, she needs to feed others. It's what she loves to do. In fact, she spent 30 years working in the cafeteria of a Simsbury Elementary School. Now you have to feed them every day, enjoy them, and it was great. I, I like to feed people. I, I had my own four kids. I love to feed them. I just like to feed people. So you can imagine how tough it became when she retired, her husband lost his job, and inflation caused grocery prices to skyrocket. And it's tough because I don't have a full paycheck no more. Your paycheck gets cut. And so we were having a difficult time, you know, paying the bills and, and uh, yeah. buying groceries. That's what brought them here to Granby's Hope for Life Food Pantry at Life Church, New England. The first thing they'll do is go down to the end here and grab a shopping cart. Pastor Al Royale gave us a tour. And people just can't make ends meet. You add that to the cost of oil, electricity, um, clothing, whatever, any food that they can get here, that frees up their dollars to do something else in their home. The Martins never relied on a food bank before, but their daughters saw them struggling as she once did. I felt horrible constantly having to ask my family and my friends for food all the time. And it just got to be where I needed help. I, I really needed food for my kids. That's why they are grateful for these shelves and Connecticut Food Share, which helps to keep them stocked. But the nonprofit is not immune to inflation and supply chain issues. Inflation has uh, impacted us in regards to our inventory, the amount of product that we get um, that is available to our partner programs. Last month, they had to take $500,000 out of reserves to cover food purchases for the end of the year to help programs like this one in Granby. It just was overwhelming. I couldn't, you know, the feeling of care and trying to help you out and you know just doing things for you. Laurie is so appreciative she's giving back by doing what she loves to do feeding others and volunteering at the pantry. Then come in and help other people and pay back you know what people have done for me. People have been so good to me through my life.